All right, guys. Um, this is my drag chain. It's about five millimeters lower uh, than the top of this lip here. And it's about 110 millimeters from the right hand side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is a, a, an anchor section and it has two screw holes in it or maybe three. The rest of them are the normal sections and there are 33 of those, not including the anchor. There are 33 of these uh, links. And then I have uh, a piece of antenna that I took off of an old AM FM radio sitting down on a screw that I put from the bottom up and the bottom of the drag chain swivels and rests on the top of the head and that keeps the drag chain from ever sagging low enough to get into the beam um, so it's 33 links plus the anchor link on the end and I'll give you the Amazon link to the product that I bought specifically so you can see whether it's a 10 by 15 or, or whatever this drag chain is it says 10 by 10 by 15 on top so there you go that's a 10 by 15 drag chain uh, then what I did was pull the head all the way over here to absolute zero zero uh, and held it in place and then I manually articulated this section and pulled it back until it just started touching right here until it pulled forward and started touching right here and what that did was give me just enough slack here when this had gone to its farthest range of motion just a little slack and then I attached it with these two screws and that's all there's nothing else holding that together it's only being held at both ends one end by the head the other end by these two self-tapping screws uh, so hopefully that'll help and then you can see how it maintains itself above where the beam is uh, so that should do it so a 10 by 15 33 regular links that one anchor link on the end and pull it all the way over to zero zero attach it to the head first push it through the back hold on to it on this side and pull it tight until you get some resistance here and shoot two screws in it and you're good. That should get you, man. If not, let me know. I'll go back through it again.